good. Just with its tail up in the air, and there's now shouting. But it's not its normal call, that's its alarm call, the white-browed kukul. And you won't believe it, yesterday before we had all the rain, all I could hear was a... Everywhere. So I think that the myth of the kukuls coming out before rain and after rain definitely rings true in the Mara Triangle, as it rings true on the southeast coast of South Africa. I haven't really been able to confirm that sort of myth in, um, in Juma. Might just be a coincidence, of course. But, uh, Juma, I never really see them. I see, obviously see them when it's raining every now and then, but they, they aren't as active as the white-browed kukuls are here in the Mara and the Birchall's kukuls are in the eastern Cape of South Africa. But probably come out to, to try and get rid of the damp feathers, but unfortunately... There's no sun for you to warm up. But it was, it was alarming just now, so I wonder what it had seen. Because I mean, they're quite ferocious predators themselves, you know, running around along the ground trying to flush out lizards. They'll eat snakes, rodents. They'll eat a variety of different things. You can see they've got a very powerful beak. Come on, sing us a beautiful song, please. Now, James, you're wondering if trumpeter hornbills occur in the Mara. Mm, I haven't heard any or seen any yet. Um, I think Janie may have tried to put some on screen, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, maybe it was yesterday or the day before. So perhaps they do occur here. I'm just going back to page number 92 to see if they've got trumpeter hornbills in the book. 